Memory governs our most basic thought processes, including our ability to reason and our perception of reality. Cultural memory is a memory shared by a group of individuals that allows them to see the world in similar ways and cooperate effectively. Language and religion, for example, are powerful forms of cultural memory that connect vast numbers of people around the world. Cultural heritage expresses cultural memory in ways that we can commonly perceive through our senses. Today, archaeological science is providing an increasing amount of information about cultural heritage, such as where an object is from, when it was made, or in the case of human or plant remains, uh, the diet, the health, or the genetic origins of the individual. And this is transforming the way that we see our history, and it's also leading to advances in other fields of science. But importantly, it's giving us a standard platform from which to perceive cultural heritage and cultural memory, therefore, can be reconstructed and reassessed. And this affects our sense of identity, our sense of belonging, and our perception of reality. Throughout history, the world and all the people inhabiting it have been governed by laws and customs. Legal history investigates the nexus of norms, human culture, and social change globally and across time. In fact, no country's legal system can be properly comprehended without understanding its legal culture and history. Both of these, in turn, are the outcomes of the social dynamics and value systems of the countries producing them. One could even suggest that a country's legal system, with all its norms and practices, is a historical snapshot, building on layer upon layer of legal cultural memories. No legal culture is an island, and there has always been interaction between the legal system of neighboring regions. Cultural memory processes help to create and construct national and regional legal identities. Yet sometimes this amounts to legal cultural myth building. Cultural change and memory have vast influence on health and healthcare. They affect our perceptions of health, illness and healing. How we react to death or how we express or take care of people suffering from pain. The history of hospitals goes all the way back to temples of Egypt and ancient Greece. It is important to understand how this past is affecting the current and the future. Modern high technology hospitals have lean processes, but still have the same aim to help suffering people. Urbanization uh, is a global trend. Since 2008, at least half of the population of the planet Earth has lived in cities. Cultural memory helps us to identify the historical development of this long-term process and to recognize how urban history and heritage live today. Cities are layered living entities in constant flux, but they are also sites of memory. If we want to understand urbanization in Africa, Asia or Europe, it is vital for us to explore how we remember the past of our own cities and how these memories influence the way we perceive urban life. The media play a central role in the formation of cultural memory. We learn about the past from the media, both factual genres such as documentaries, and fictional ones, such as historical television series. Media shape both what and how we remember. Nowadays, for example, social media algorithms increasingly determine what content we see online. Social media have become memory archives of sort. Social media shape the way we remember our past by storing and circulating content and by creating occasions for discussing memories. Thus, it is critical to understand the changing ways by which media technologies shape the formation of cultural memory. 
The media can limit the scope of cultural memory by focusing on the viewpoints of socially dominant groups. But they can also offer room for more diverse voices and create new connections between the memories of different people. Literature and other arts participate in shaping cultural memory. They play an important role in challenging dominant narratives of the past and in opening up a range of different paths to alternative futures. Literature can help us imagine how certain events, such as genocides or acts of solidarity, were possible in a certain historical and cultural world. And it can inspire us to imagine how things could be otherwise. Cultural memory matters because it can expand our sense of the possible.